Speaking of food, Holly James, you know this is a story that I'm excited about. A restaurant in downtown West Palm is ready to shake things up in the newly named Rosemary Square. Tacos and hip hop combines the best of both worlds. We got food and music. We got some records here to showcase that. But I'm joined by Steve Prashad and Ricky Perez, who are all a part of this. This concept started four years ago, right, Steve? Yes. Okay. And. Uh, or while we get into those nitty gritty questions, we're gonna start making the tacos so we can showcase those at the end. But yes, you guys sir. have that awesome location at Rosemary Square. What's that yes. like for you guys? It's very fun. Uh, we got two bars, one indoor, one outdoor. So it creates a really good environment for everyone to hang out and just a really cool chill time. Okay, and take us back to the basics, how this all started, combining those two elements of food and music. Well, uh, four years ago, we had an idea to kind of do something in the community and you know, liven it up. And Ricky told me that he had some recipes from his family where he can make tacos. So he's the culinary brains behind yes, all this. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And you bring the hip hop then? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes Okay, yes. so what is what is the vibe that we're getting at for, for guests who wanna go into the restaurant? What, what are they gonna experience? It's a little bit of everything. You know, we wanna show people that hip hop has is multi-dimensional. It's not just straight rap music it's you know it's soul it's funk it's you know it's reggae it's you know it's multi genres that you know make up okay and back to the awesome location where exactly in rosemary square are you guys we are right under blue martini next to brio okay very heavily uh populated and trafficked area yes yes depending yes. on when you're there um Go ahead and tell us about some of the menu items that we have here, Ricky. You have some stuff cooked up. Yeah, well, here we have um, some of our uh, breakfast tacos that we do. Looks um, delicious. These are hand-pressed uh, flour tortillas. And these all come from family recipes? Yes, sir. Grew up with, yes, so yes, sir. Well, we actually, source, we actually source these flour tortillas from uh, Lawrence, uh, Kentucky. Oh, wow. We get them shipped. It's all organic. And uh, basically, we're just doing the breakfast taco here, which is... Uh, Egg, bacon, chorizo. And these are all items you can find on the yes, menu right yes. now? Yes, okay. yes. Only at brunch on Sundays. That's awesome that you guys do brunch as well as regular uh, dinner and lunch meals yeah. as well? Okay. Yeah, yeah, dinner uh, we do every day. And it's uh, one of our favorite items is uh, the ether taco, okay. which is named after a Nas song. Yes, yes, I'm yeah, a big so Nas fan. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So it's carne asada, fried cheese, uh, pico de gallo, and uh, crema verde. That sounds goes delicious. On. You guys also have weekly events over at Tacos and Hip Hop as yes, well. Yes, we do. Tell us about that. Yes, we, uh, we have, starting the week off, we have our Taco Tuesday program, which is really popular. Um, and then we go into Thursday with the Bonita Ladies Night. And then Friday and Saturday, we do our theme parties. Uh, like last week, we just did a Y2K party celebrating music from the 2000s. Okay, and you have a lot of music showcased here. We got the candles to increase the ambiance that we got here, but also um, I see All some elements. French toast. Is that up there? And yeah, what else do we have, Ricky? So, so growing up in South Florida, I grew up around a lot of Cubans, <clears throat> Caribbean people, and the Cuban bread was a staple in our in our dinner table. So, uh, what I did was uh, I added uh, guava and cheese into the Cuban Cuban bread, pressed it down, uh, dipped it in some batter, and made some French toast. Throw some dulce de leche on and powdered uh, sugar and cinnamon, and we're good to go. 